Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is More Than A Pretty Face and it is Get Ready With Me Wednesday. So I'm gonna jump right in. Um, I got uh, some of the stuff already done, like my moisturizer and my foundation and some contouring. I had a whole bunch of phone calls I was trying to knock out and get through this morning. So um, it was impossible to edit through that. So we just cut that out and start from here. So anyway, uh, yeah. So we're gonna go in from here. But uh, happy Wednesday, and I hope everybody's having a good week. Um, it's been kind of a boring week here. Um, I did, I do have a lot of, um, I was able to get a lot of new uh, content lined up that I've got coming over the next few days. Um, kind of mixing it up a little bit. I have one that I'm, I need to finish uh, getting the edits and stuff done to it, but it's gonna be really cool. It's, uh, I finally did the unboxing for my boys' um, science boxes that they get. So I'll be watching for that one because it's really neat. It's gonna, it shows everything that comes in the, um, the engineering boxes and the science boxes that they get. Uh, one of them is the, it's through Kiwi Company, and it is the Eureka Crate. And it's an engineering box, and then the other one is um, Psychos Lab, and it's like a a chemistry subscription. It's really really cool. I love it. So I've got that coming, and then um, today I'm gonna try. I say try. Um, today I'm gonna try and get um, a series I've got coming that's just kind of like um, my favorite things my favorite things from like Amazon Dollar Tree um, kind of put them together in um, groups that they go with I do have one that is um, that is primarily centered around uh, the Paris theme decorating wise got a bunch of that stuff together and I've got another one that is summer activities and then I've got another one that is, oh, I've got one that's gonna be, I'm excited to do it, really excited to do it. I get a lot of people that ask me um, like about my nails and stuff, and no, I don't get them done. Well, I, normally I get them done. Um, I have not been able to get them done since this whole mess started, um, and so I've been doing it myself. I, uh, I typically don't, I typically go to the nail guy, but they have not opened back up yet, so here lately I have been forced to either go without, which I don't, or um, I think, th y'all, I think I have like, I don't think I've gone without nails since probably high school or right after at least. I just always have them. I don't know. It's just my thing. Um, and so I have been doing them myself here lately for the last few months and I have a video coming that is showing everything that you need from literally step one. If you wanted to just, you know, have them do a at home manicure, or if you wanted to actually do the full acrylics or just the press ons, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, our Dollar Tree, there it is again. I was shocked at um, what I was able to um, find in there the other day. So I grabbed it all um, because like one of my favorite uh, sets to do, these aren't acrylic, like these are just, um, these are just the like shape them and glue them on, but it is the um, acrylic line from Kiss. And usually I get them at um, Walgreens, Target. They tend to have the best ones, but, um, you like said, you'll see in the video. Uh, again, with the how did they? I need to just make a series called How Did They Get This? Because um, two of my favorite styles that I tend to gravitate towards um, showed up at Dollar Tree this week. Um, so yeah, I was pretty excited about that. Um, and they have, like I said, they have a bunch of new little uh, manicure tools and whatever and so um i'm going to obviously try them out and see what i think of them and then i'll give a full review 
<laughs> Y'all, okay, looking at myself right now, it makes me, reminds me of this. Okay, so if any of y'all um, actually, you know, do upload videos or, I mean, if you don't just like use YouTube to watch, if you actually do have a channel that you upload videos to. Okay, who can agree with me? Is there like a dude that sits at YouTube International, whatever their company is called, and his job is literally to select the worst image from the video to use as your thumbnail if you don't select one yourself. Is that like a job? Is that his job? Like Joe, the thumbnail guy, sits there and he like watches through on like slow mo and he's like, that one. She looks absolutely ridiculous. That's the one we'll use. I've learned that. So um, I always make sure to uh, <laughs> get some sort of a decent thumbnail before we call it done and upload it because lord have mercy i have who i had to go on and edit a few of them because i've been like that's what you pulled out of everything you had to choose from that's the image you went with okay so disrespectful so yeah anyway note to self don't let youtube select your thumbnail so i just i don't know maybe it's just me i don't know but, uh, yeah. So, since we were talking about nail shops, um, have all of y'all's, um, stuff, like nail shops and barber shops and stuff, has they, have they all opened up yet? Because ours here in Tennessee, we have reached phase two of the reopening. Y'all, that sounds like a freaking movie, the reopening. I mean, because I feel like that's what we're living right now anyway. But um, we have reached phase two, and so they are, I said, actually, I correct myself. I said ours wasn't open. It is open, but it's got these, like, insanely difficult rules to get around to even get in to get an appointment. So, um, um, so I haven't even tried. I called the other day, and they're like, yeah, you have to do this, this, this. So, like, for me to make an appointment and get in, I would, like, have to turn around and make the next Two appointments probably right right there in order to stay on some sort of a schedule with deal blah, 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 with bills and stuff so I just haven't messed with it our barber shop finally opened that we take the boys to thank you Jesus so we got them squared away and lined up yesterday in fact I'm gonna twist my oldest's hair out tonight that's on our agenda a bit Hoping that we are able to get that done so I can get it done before he has to go in and get it cut again. Um, but I'll post some pictures of that after I get it done. That's like my favorite look for him. He's that it's so funny because he's um he's 13, he's 14, and they have that um here, here's your your thumbnail chance when looking at it's absolutely ridiculous. Um <laughs> but uh he's at that age where we call it nappy on purpose. My husband calls it. In fact, they have like a sponge you can buy that'll like give you the look that makes it literally look unkempt on purpose. And so that's what he's been kind of doing while he's been growing his hair out. It's been a process. Um, anybody who's dealt with a, a son or husband, whatever, that's trying to grow their hair out naturally. It is. I thought it was hard to deal with like my hair trying to grow it out. Lord, no, his is a whole nother ball game. Oh, okay. So let me ask you all this. I don't know what you think about it, but so we know all the new regulations that are going on and it's okay. I get it, but I like, I, I haven't, it's truly a concern of mine. I'm not trying to like be one of those like go against the rules break the rules do what i want to do whatever i'm not by any means trying to do that i have a genuine question so six flags is opening back up and like the all the other amusement parks disney world all these places great here's my question they say you have to wear a mask okay I'm not thrilled by that, but you have to wear a mask the whole time you're in the park, which includes rides, which I'll come back to that in a minute with the distancing thing. So you're on a roller coaster and you're doing loops 
and you're going down hills and you're corkscrewing and you get sick. It's common. Is it safe for the vomit you just expelled to be confined to your face through that mask? Is that healthy? I mean, I don't get it. And then talking about the lines. Okay, so they're like, you have to social distance in the lines. Great. Have you been to an amusement park? Are you aware of the line system? You honestly think that a roller coaster that the line normally takes an hour to get through, they're going to be able to enforce six feet in between every person? Are you? No. And I, again, like I say, and every time I talk about it, I'm not saying break the rules. I'm not saying I don't agree with the rules. I'm not condoning any of that. I stay safe. Do what they say. Do what you need to do to stay safe. I am simply saying I personally opinionated don't see how those guidelines are going to work in a situation like an amusement park. It does not make sense to me. It just doesn't. And like I said, I, I didn't make the rules. I will follow the rules. I probably just won't go to an amusement park. But it just, it baffles me. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if y'all have any plans of, or if your plans got changed because of those new guidelines. Because I know we had planned on taking the boys um, to Florida this summer. Had a big old trip planned and everything. And well, now we're not doing that because we're just not. But... I'd be interested to know what other people think or if that's like been something that like am I am I like in left field even thinking about that is that something do they let you take the mask off when you get on the ride I don't know I haven't looked enough into it because like it's not going anymore so I didn't bother researching any more of it but it just made me wonder things that make you go hmm I said, I do know that our plans were completely altered. So. In fact, tomorrow I should be working at CMA Fest. But, again, that's canceled until next year. So, no CMA Fest for Nashville. I was really upset by that one. That's like the one week and weekend I look forward to the most. And my bank account looks forward to it the most. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, that's clearly not happening. I did get an email for Fashion Week. So apparently they are still, um, that is still happening. They've just adjusted the dates. So... It is happening. It will just be happening at a later date. So, I say, we'll do something pink. <laughs> Here's my shirt. Okay, y'all, this is like my favorite shirt. Let's stand up and try not to fall. But it's a uh, world's okayest mom. <laughs> and that is so me. I don't claim to be the best. I don't claim to be the worst. I don't claim to be anything but okay. Like, uh, and that's the other thing. I don't. I, I, I used to be in a bunch of those groups on Facebook, you know, the ones where it's like the mom groups, the God awful mom groups. I was in those for years. I can't do them anymore. <clears throat> I can't, I just, I can't, I cannot stand. It's almost like the, the whole like car seat or breastfeed or when to turn them around in the back seat or all of that is like, I seriously think there are people that specifically look for posts regarding that so that they can jump in from either direction, either side, and just attack, full-blown attack mode. Like, not even, 
Like, I don't, I don't even know. Like, the, I, like I said, I think they sit around and that is like their nine to five job is to go into those groups and hunt down who they can viciously attack that day. And half the time, like, I don't even know, like, it, it takes, some of those comments and, and arguments take such a hard, sharp left or right from where they were originally going that I have to, like, and I, I'm, I'm, I, won't, I won't lie, I, I go in and I read them just for entertainment purposes. Um, I wouldn't comment with a 10-foot pole because, good God, I mean, you say one wrong thing and they will immediately go to your page find whatever picture or whatever status or whatever they can do to like justify their attack on you and they'll like blast you it's, it's so sad and these are grown whole grown women doing this but anyway i don't remember where i was going with this i don't honestly remember what my point was on this i'm going to try and circle it back around but i was where was i going with this Well, anyway, I can bring it back around to what I know I want to say right now. Um, I was on one of the pages the other day and just um, someone had sent me a link and they're like, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. You have to go see this. This is hilarious. And it almost was like reminiscent of some of the military wives pages that I used to be part of back when my husband was still active duty. And this poor girl... All she asked was if any of the moms had any suggestions on which vegetable to introduce first. Now, that's a common question, especially for a new mom. Bless her heart. They lost their minds. Because when it came down to it, like, her child, I want to say, was, like, eight months old. And um, she was wanting to introduce some jar food. Okay. Y'all, mine were younger than that. These mothers flipped out on her. Why are you giving the baby jar food why are you not why aren't you giving them organic food why aren't you going out in your garden and picking pea squash green beans and mashing them up yourself susan i mean they were there was like no mercy and um by the time it was said and done they had gone in like i said they had gone into this poor girl's page and taken all these pictures like all the way down to toys that she let her child play with and like this is the kind of mom we're dealing with and I mean it was probably something like uh I don't know like the baby might have been playing with a teething ring sitting on the floor and it could have been like five feet from an outlet and so they thought that there was like not enough distance from the child in the outlet that ridiculous that's how ridiculous some of these ladies are anyway now I've like I, said, I have completely lost what my original point was but I had to point that out y'all stay in your lane first of all and I may offend a lot of people with this. And if I do, I'm sorry. But we're all... Oh, I know what it was. It was my shirt. We're all trying to be just the okayest mom we can be. That was my point. So, um, like I said, I'm just trying to get my kids through life. I'm just trying to help them live, okay? My, my point at the end of the day is if you make it out of this thing we are currently calling life alive, I've done my job. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to, you know, raise some Harvard, whatever, whatever. I'm not trying to raise some, some doctor or some lawyer. I'm just trying to raise a kid who is genuinely a good kid. If he follows in half of what my parents and my husband's parents did, then he will be just fine. Um... Yeah, so, okay, it's mom. That's what, that's me. I'm not trying to be, I'm not going to condone anybody. I'm not going to come in and say, oh, you shouldn't do that because, because you know what? I'm not an expert. And 
100% of those moms in those pages are definitely not experts either. And I don't care. You can throw statistics at me all day long. You can show me what you Googled. I can Google the same thing. But at the end of the day, um, Karen, Susan, Linda, and Brenda don't qualify as experts in my book, nor do they qualify as being the utmost best to give me insight. And if I, if I want like a suggestion, I want just that. I just want a suggestion. I don't want you to throw 75 chapters of what not breastfeeding your child can do to them. Because guess what? I didn't breastfeed either. Not because I couldn't. Because I didn't want to. I did not want to. I chose not to. And that's okay. That's completely okay. Um, mine turned out fine. It turned out perfectly fine. I don't have anything against breastfeeding. I've had, I can't tell you how many of my friends sit in my living room and pop it out and breastfeed their kid right in front of me. It doesn't bother me. None of it bothers me. I personally didn't want to do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so the whole point to this long, very long <laughs> conversation is that uh, no one, unless you're Casey Anthony, is wrong in how they parent their children. I know some parents that don't let their kids touch video games. That's great. I know some parents who raise their kids on video games. That's great too. Do do what works for you. Don't don't do don't try and push. You do you, and I'm gonna do me. That's how we'll do it. Um, this like <laughs> escalated quickly. Um, at least, I, and I'm not trying to be ugly to anybody. I'm, I promise I'm not, um, and I will never be ugly to somebody over what they're shocking that I dropped something. Just the lid. Um, Alyssa, I would never um, condemn somebody for what they do or don't do with their kids. I don't care. Do what works for you. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, just if we all make it out of this thing alive, I think we're doing okay. Because Lord knows, some days I wonder. But oh, okay. So let's talk about the video games threw that one in there for it. So I set myself up for this one. Okay. So just out of curiosity, um, what is, what are y'all's like, um, true? Now, if you play, it doesn't count. Like I want to know the ones that don't play, don't have any idea what it is or anything. What are y'all's opinions on Fortnite? Like, I would really like to know what some other mamas or daddies out there think about Fortnite. I swear my kids have joined a cult. I swear. It's like, I, and I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, they have a whole different language. Like, I swear, I think some days that they're speaking in a different language and come to find out they're just talking about worlds or lands or spaces, places, skins, emotes, whatever. Um, and the reason I said, the reason I bring up Fortnite, we were in Walmart the other day and, um, we had gone back. My son needs some of the, um, uh, thumb things for his controller. He needs to replace the little thumb pads. I don't know what they're called. Thumb thingies. We'll call them that. And so we were back in the electronic section and um, we were by the phones and I said to my oldest, I said, hey, that reminds me, I'm um, due for an upgrade for my phone coming up. And he knows I have Samsung. That's all I ever use. I don't use anything but Samsung. I've mentioned that in many videos before. So he immediately, his eyes like, oh my gosh. He's like, well, what are you going to get? What are you going to get? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, if you get the S10 Plus, you get da 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 And this is all Fortnite related. Over the words, because remember, I don't speak Fortnite language. And so I was like, well, what does that do? The gal, he's right here, actually. You know what, Tyrus? What do you get with this new upgrade? Come around here. I'm going to be Come around here. They, they, yeah, we're talking about your hair, so now they can see your hair, too. Squat down. This is Tyrus, the 13-year-old. <laughs> he's super tall, y'all. 
<laughs> so we're sitting here, like I said, we were looking at, I was talking about the phone and everything and what I could get with it. And so he's automatically, he's like, oh my gosh. So take it away. Tell them why I need to upgrade to the S10. Because you make your son happy, I will not be mad at you for the rest of your life. Um, they want to know skin. what Fortnite related things you get. Um, okay, you get a skin called Iconic. It's better than most of the skins in the game. Um, let's see, you get an emote call scenario. What is an emote? See, this is that language, y'all. He okay. gets a dance move. What does it do for you in the game? Literally just get a popularity contest. The whole pack is popularity, basically. It's a flex. It That's all it is. Is, is. It's a flex. It's a big old flex well, by per By the way, you get $10,000 in the game. 10000 V-Bucks, not $10,000. Let's bring that back around. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, so what do I get out of this? You get a happy son. You get a happy son. And a happy child. To replace a phone that doesn't need replaced. But they yeah. do this to parents on purpose, y'all. They do it to parents on purpose. Because I have the Note 9, and it's fantastic. I've had it's it for, not, ever since it came out. And it's great. But now they're like, oh no, you need the Note 10, or you need the S10, or whatever, whatever. S10 Plus. And if you get it, we'll throw in this. What in the heck does that do for me? Stickers. And they're like, oh, you get a phone case with it, too. Y'all, I am 40, we're going to be 40 years old in September. You think I'm going to carry around a phone case that's got a freaking Fortnite logo on it or a Fortnite emoji? So then he brings it back around again and he's like, well, look on the bright side. If you upgrade, then I can have your note. And there we have it. I was like, you're 13. What in the hell do you need? Uh, well, probably now it's, it's dropped down probably like seven or 800. What do you need a $700 phone for? He's like, well, then if I get your phone, then Jaden can have my phone. Jaden has a phone. Y'all all have phones. What are we going to do with the one that Jaden has right now? Give it to the dog? I mean, Fortnite, you're getting this, okay? And I'm putting my foot down. It's not going to happen. He's not going to get it. He probably will, but I'm going to kick and scream the whole way. I just, so yeah, so like I said originally, if y'all have kids that play Fortnite, what is y'all's honest opinion? Do you think it's a cult? And okay, and I say that loosely. I know they're not in a cult. I think it's not in a cult. But I'm just like, give us a break. Like, okay, when they did that little blackout thing, y'all, I'm all over the place with this makeup today. I'm back and forth, back and forth, but it's going to come together, I promise. Um, when they did that little blackout thing, I guess it was like, it was last year, I remember, because we even bought my kids sympathy cards for it. It was so hilarious. When they ended um, whatever season they were on, instead of going to the next season, they just did the whole, like, black hole, and Fortnite went silent for, like, 48 hours. It was glorious. Absolutely glorious. And when I say this, I mean it with all honesty. My youngest cried. Cried. He honestly thought... Fortnite was over. Cry. So my husband and I actually got them um, a sympathy card, and it was like, in this trying time, whatever, whatever, just know that we are with you. It was the most hilarious thing on earth because we videoed them opening it. They didn't know what it was. They thought it was like, I don't know what they thought it was. They, it wasn't what they thought it was, that's for sure. But when they opened it, they're like, are you serious right now? I was like, I just want you to know that we're here for you. We're here for you. But, so, kudos to Fortnite for that one, or Epic Games, I guess. That's who does it. But, um, yeah, I just don't get it. I don't understand the hype behind... I'm a Mario Kart girl. Dr. Mario, Tetris. Those are my games. Those are the games I grew up playing. Those are the games I will forever care for more. But, I don't know. And I know some people are like, well, you don't have to let them play it. You can just tell them no. I know I can. I'm perfectly aware that I can tell my children no. And I do tell my children no. We have a system in this house that you have to abide by or else you don't get the controller. In fact, the controller's in my room right now because they haven't finished their chores for the day. They haven't, um, you know, done what they're supposed to do. And once they do all that, then they come check in with me and then I give them the controllers. So we do have rules. They do have regulations there. We turn the internet off upstairs at, I think, 11 o'clock every night. They're not allowed to be on it after that. Um, all of their electronics are linked to mine. So. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry, we just had a crazy torrential storm that blew in out of nowhere. So, had to pause for a minute. Had a whole bunch of hail and everything else coming through. But anyway, I have no idea where I was at, what I was talking about. I know I was talking about my kids. 
But anyway, bottom line, at the end of the day, just do the best by your kids. Do the best you can do. And um, people shouldn't be judging other people on how they raise their kids. It's my advice for the day. Just be kind. If that's not a message that could be taught worldwide right now, I don't know what it is, especially in our own back home country. Okay, so lashes today. We're going to use some from the new set that I just got the other day. If y'all saw the Dollar Tree video, you saw the, um, the big case <laughs> that I brought home. And this is one of the uh, pairs from the summer series. And it is Wispy Medium. And this is, if you wanted to see them, here they are. Lashes are done. <laughs> so um, we're going to get this finished up because this is turning into a very long video. Um, and I've got so much more I need to do today. <laughs> Videoing and some scalp stuff i got to take care of. So um, I'm going to finish this off with some mascara, some lipstick, and then we will be on our way. So um, I wear, like I said, I don't know if y'all have seen some other videos. I don't know if I've actually talked about it much, but um, I am a scalp mom. I have two boys that are both in scouts actively. Um, one is a cub and one is a boy scout um and that and i'm also i'm treasurer for both organizations so that like monopolizes 90 percent of my time and i actually just got a phone call about some something that's got to be taken care of so um i love scouts i do it is a uh, it like i said it is predominantly our life these days um and it's super weird now that, like I said, we're doing everything via Zoom. It's very strange to have scout meetings and court of honors and leaders meetings and all that stuff over Zoom. But you do what you got to do. Oh, where was I going with this tangent? Again, talking. Um, oh, my, so my, yeah, it's so my oldest. So we were in Missouri, and um, one of my dear, dear friends, her son, um, is a scout. And so he had invited Tyrus to come to Cub Scouts and check it out and see what he thought. Because uh, we told him he doesn't like team sports, which is fine. He loves to, like, play football, basketball, all that stuff. But he wants to do it, like, just in the neighborhood or just at school. He doesn't like organized team sports. That's great. Um, I said, well, why don't you try? We did Taekwondo in Hawaii. And he liked it, but he kind of fell out of it. Um, plus my husband was deployed at the time. And so he kind of, I don't, it was just a, he wanted daddy there for it and whatever, whatever. So we didn't continue with Taekwondo. Um, but scouts on the other hand, uh, whoo, first time using this one. This is red. Hold on. I really like it though. Um, so we had no idea going in anything about it. We went to like a, a, um, a pack meeting, which we didn't even know what that was at the time. But, uh, so we went to one, checked it out. He was like, this sounds cool. You know, okay, we'll check it out. We'll come back from then on. He was, he was addicted to it. So, and of course my youngest, whenever he was old enough to join, um, he was a lion from the youngest point they can. And now he's a, we, he's a arrow of light now. So he's got one year left in cubs and then he'll move over to boy scouts with my um oldest and like i said we're my husband is a is an adult leader and um we're we're a total scout family i'm gonna add some shimmer to this a little bit um so yeah so it, it like i said it dominates our household but we love it can't imagine not doing it so all right well that has completed today's get ready with me um like i said if you hung out this long again like i say every wednesday you are a trooper and i love you and i'm so happy that you're here um if you have any questions about anything that i used anything that i did why i did anything the way i did it um drop a comment let me know again like i said i don't technically do tutorials on this i just get ready and if you learn something, great. If you don't do it the way I do it, that's great too because there are no rules in makeup. Absolutely no rules. Everybody does something different. Um, everybody uses products differently. So don't take anything that I do to be the way you have to do something because um, everybody can do it however they want to do it. It's makeup. 
and it's however it makes you happy. So with that, I'm going to close out and I will, um, like I said, I've got a lot of more videos coming your way this week and then through the weekend, I've got a humongous, um, summer activities for kids video coming with a bunch of stuff I picked up from various stores. So be looking out for that and I will talk to you later. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around, um, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I would appreciate it greatly. So I will talk to y'all soon and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Make sure you hit the bell so that you stay up to date on all of my latest uploads and videos. Also, follow me on Instagram at jwaltmua or check out my website, jennywalton-artistry.com.